The Safe Drive Stay Alive campaign is a very hard-hitting um, programme of education and encouragement for young people as they're approaching driving age um, to make them aware of the dangers of becoming a driver and a passenger in a car and more importantly the responsibilities of being a driver and the consequences of things going wrong which can just be a moment's negligence. I've been working in the emergency department here in Aberdeen for about a quarter of a century now and with the high rate of road traffic accidents we've got here particularly involving those aged between 17 and 25 I've spent most of my professional life either certifying dead or putting together kids who have been injured in road traffic accidents. So when I got the chance to be involved in something that might reduce the rate of those accidents, I, I jumped at the chance and I've got to say it's been immensely rewarding. Grampian has one of the highest rates of road traffic collisions in Scotland. 37% of those killed in fatal collisions last year were aged 17 to 25. Your age group suffered the most severe injury and are most likely to die. The main aim of the Safe Drive Stay Alive campaign is to make young people um, very aware, in fact, leave them in absolutely no doubt as to the responsibilities that they have as young drivers. As they start learning to drive and start being passengers in cars, uh, they need to be fully aware of the responsibility that's involved in that, the risks involved and the consequences of something going wrong and being involved in a collision where people are killed and injured. is to educate uh, the audience, educate the drivers, but not just the drivers, the passengers as well, and to educate them as to how they act in a car. Cars and bikes are great things. They give you your freedom, but they can just as easily kill you if you use them irresponsibly. Driving is a skill that takes many years to develop. Just because you pass your test doesn't mean you're a good driver. And I know it can be tempting to put the foot down and drive at high speed. And I know friends in the car can encourage you to drive fast. But I've seen too many times the results of doing so. From the show today, I think I'll get more awareness of how things can affect an accident because I've just started to drive and I'm concentrating on changing the gears and not what's around me. So I think the show will help me realise I need to be more aware. I think it's going to have a shock factor which is going to make me realise that what I'm driving, like the way I drive has a lot more consequences than I actually realise and that I've got to be a lot more sensible. I think I'm going to get quite scared from the show because two of my friends have recently passed away in a car accident as well so I think it'll just sort of add to that. Hopefully it just helps to be more confident and if I feel like someone's driving irresponsibly be able to say, listen, I'm uncomfortable, please slow down or be more responsible. I think because they don't really know what they're coming to see and we don't actually you know, warn them very much of what they're coming to see and to bring them in and get them all relaxed and really happy, then the impact of what they're having to hear or going to hear is going to be much greater. Delivering shock now. Shock delivered. Back on. I keep the CPR going just now. Can we get some adrenaline now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, check the pulse. No pulse palpable. No pulse, still exists. Like, okay, guys, she's dead. Um, okay, we're calling it life pronounced extent, ten a week. Okay. Thanks very much for your help. I'm gonna go and check on the system. Okay. Okay. We try to make sure that we check that the campaign is effective um, by going back to the schools afterwards to establish whether or not the messages have um, stuck with the young people. Certainly as people leave the auditorium, you're in no doubt whatsoever by their reaction that um, it's had a very, very hard-hitting effect. But that's only any good if that lasts and is translated into practice when people start to drive. Uh, so we are actually carrying out a, a more extensive evaluation at the moment which um, we, we hope will provide us with the evidence that either tells us that it is um, effective or gives us some pointers as to how we can continue to improve the show. After the show, when we go back and do the fifth year presentation, it's normally uh, quite shortly thereafter. One of the first questions asked uh, of the audience, the fifth year pupils, you've just come back from Safe Drive, uh, Safe Drive Stay Alive, how did you find it? 
Uh, and to be honest, you know, the, the major response I get back is that they found it very harrowing um, and sort of difficult to comprehend and didn't realise that obviously these things go on on a regular basis. Uh, and I think it was a bit of an eye-opener for them. When I go home to my parents and I talk about this show, um, I'll describe it as being totally changing, um, completely changing how you look at different situations and opening your eyes to really how tragic things can be. It's definitely given me a realisation like about the shocking truth of what would happen if I did have an accident and what, what the consequences actually are. Because the show was so lifelike, it was, I could put myself in the situation because I have a sister and if something like that happened to her, I could relate with the other characters. If I was responsible for a car collision, I don't know how I'd cope. I don't think I'd be able to get out of my house. I think the show will have a lasting effect. Like I think when I'm in a car, I'll remember the fact that, you know, someone's sister died and like someone's, you know, daughter and I don't want to be like that person. I will never get to walk her down the aisle for a wedding. And there will never ever be the blonde, blue-eyed grandchildren that we hope for so much. Part of me, who I am, who I was, died along with Dana that night. What I personally feel I can bring to the Safe Drive Stay Alive show in retelling my daughter's story, which is extremely painful and difficult to do, is the fact that if we reach just one young person with our message, then my daughter's life would not have been in vain. We still get young people who are in road traffic collisions and who are very seriously hurt or killed. So we, we have to keep going with this. We have to keep, with different projects, trying to undermine the message for young people. I hope that the show can continue for a very long time. We'll need to evolve and change to make sure that it remains fresh and continues to have the impact on the young people. And also the messages that we need to put across may change over time. But I do see this as being a long-term initiative uh, because we are looking to influence behaviours over a lifetime. Getting the, the sort of road safety message across to those the sort of youngsters that are not driving at the moment or maybe just in the sort of learning process. Um, and I think obviously prevention is better than cure. So if we can get that message across at an early stage, an intervention stage, uh, I'm hoping that that will go a long way to, to saving lives. You can see it makes a difference. The feedback I get, the feedback the other professionals get, it does make a difference. If it keeps going annually, year on year, it can only make things better. Tens of thousands of 50 year students have seen the show, but we need to continue with the education of these future generation of new drivers. And that's why it is vitally important that the work of the Safe Drive Stay Alive shows continues. There's no point in, in just going in and doing this for one or two years. Um, we're, we're looking to try and change people's driving behaviour for life. Uh, Safe Drive Stay Alive must continue. We're starting to see some evidence that road traffic uh, collisions in Grampian are starting to decrease. And the thing about this is, it's a culture change. We need to keep going and going and going until it's just accepted by all the young people in the North East that they should drive safely. And ironically, I think being involved in Safe Drive Stay Alive will I'll have probably save more lives uh, taking part in that than I have undertaken my job as an emergency medicine consultant. None of us are here or doing this for any other reason than to reach out to all of you, asking you, pleading with you to try and stay safe when you drive. Safe drive, stay alive.